We're in Tainan, Taiwan right now. This is kind of seen as the entryway into the southern part of the island. It actually used to be the old capital of Taiwan back in the 17th to the 19th century. Another interesting fact about Tainan is that Taiwanese is spoken here more commonly than Mandarin, which is actually very unusual for the country as a whole. Most other places, especially in the north, you're going to hear a lot more Mandarin as opposed to Taiwanese. Not here. I realized when I was looking through YouTube this morning that there's not really a good English guide to Tainan City. It seems like a really cool place. I wanted to show you a mini guide of what to do while you're in the city. You ready to go somewhere else? Alright, I think we're ready. This is our view out our 28 US dollar a night hotel. Not a bad view at all. Alright, first stop is Tainan Park, which is actually right near where we're staying, so it works out well. So less than 10 minute walk from the Tainan train station, you will find this lovely city park. So Tainan Park seems to be the place to come on Sundays, or maybe any day of the week, I'm not sure. We're just here on a Sunday and everyone seems to be having a great time, all in big groups, drinking in public and eating and picnicking, sleeping, whatever it is, playing music. Tainan Park is the oldest park in Tainan and it was first established around 1674. So very old. I believe that structure was built in the 1800s and it's been through Chinese Qing Dynasty and also Japanese rule and it has stood the test of time clearly. We made a quick little pit stop before our next destination, which is the Confucius Temple, because this place has really good fresh juices. Uh, we discovered it last night when we first got into town, and we came back for some more. It's only about a dollar for a fresh juice. I got papaya and banana, and Kendall got watermelon. watermelon. So, like, We've noticed this a lot around Taiwan. They really like supporting their trees, and so it's cutting them down. I'm standing in front of the Confucius Temple, which is a major attraction in Tainan. There's some live music going on, as you can see over there. Pretty uh, cinematic and dramatic. It's great. So this temple was built in the mid-1600s, and it was meant as a place uh, for intellectuals to come and get lectured talk about life and whatnot. Um, there's actually still ancient Confucius ceremonies that happen on a regular basis here. So yeah, this is kind of in the middle of Tainan and um, a lot of people come here as a regular basis to learn and come see native architecture. I cannot read any of this, but it is talking about the Old South Gate and the history behind it. If you want to get a good arm workout in the middle of Tainan, this baby will help you out. So this is one of the original gates from the 18th century that was built to wall in the city. Very cool. All right, we came back to our room for a little bit just to rest up and get some work done. And now we're heading to the Flower Night Market. I've heard good things about this. We found the market. I think I found my first purchase of this market. So ready to eat this. Tainan was a huge place for the Dutch in the 17th century. This western part of the country is basically where they settled down and took over for quite a while, just under 40 years. 
Today I have a lot to show you in terms of the history of the Dutch when they were here and a little bit of Qing Dynasty um, China as well. There's just a lot to see in terms of history, architecture, and some really cool spots. I'm standing in front of the National Museum of Taiwanese Literature right now and this museum opened in just 2003 and it just goes through a lot of the history of literature um, in Taiwanese and Chinese. I don't believe there's that much English inside. It is a really cool building. It's housed in an old historical government building from the early 1900s, which is why it looks so beautiful. It's actually closed on Monday, so we wouldn't be able to go in today anyway. But just for you English speakers, always check ahead of time for the museums in Taiwan because a lot of them are not in English. They're usually in Taiwanese and Mandarin and maybe Japanese, but not always English. So something to keep in mind. Chacon Tower, also known as Fort Provincia. So this was the admin center of the Dutch in the mid 17th century when they ruled this part of Taiwan. So I should say that this was the site of the original Fort Provincia, but this was actually rebuilt in the 19th century because there was an earthquake that knocked down the original fort which is probably why it doesn't look very Dutch. Uh, so it was rebuilt once the Chinese were ruling already. So that's why it looks a little bit more of an Asian architectural style. So this, I'm assuming, is what the old fort used to look like before the earthquake. We're heading to the official God of War temple, which is the oldest temple in Taiwan. And it is dedicated to a general who is deified in the Han Dynasty. That high threshold right there, that was originally intended to keep women out. No longer. This is the Matsu Temple. It's to be the residence of the last king in the Ming Dynasty, and he wanted it turned into a Matsu temple upon his death. So I'm not actually going to film inside because I don't want to be disrespectful, and usually temples are just religious places in general. It's not usually a good place to film, so hopefully you guys can see how beautiful it is even from the outside, and you can come here for yourself one day to see it in its beauty in real life. Another beautiful day in Tainan. It's actually blue skies today, which is awesome. We're gonna go check out the Anping area, which is on the northwest side of the city. Short bus right away, and there's a lot of cool history over there. We're at the Anping Tree House and the old Tate Co. Merchant House as well. Anping is the oldest port in Taiwan, and it's a good history of the trading industry in this country. Basically, this old merchant house, it was built by a English merchant who was in the tea trade and banking and insurance and it's just a good representation of that history. Tree house, um, that used to be the old warehouse that held the largest supply of salt in Taiwan and an old banyan tree took over and basically made it into a tree house so that's why it's called the Anping tree house. Well I think we found the old tree house. That is the old banyan tree that took over the house invasive species for sure. And this is the Tate & Co. Merchant House.
We're about to walk into Fort Zealandia, which is now called the Old Anping Forts. And this was pretty much the outpost of the Dutch and the settlement that they put down when they were here in the 1600s. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> awesome. So although this fort was built originally in the 1600s, that tower behind me is from 1945 and it was rebuilt in 1975, which is why it looks very 70s in my opinion. This is part of the original wall of Fort Zealandia and the Dutch built it in the 1600s. Thank you.